Hey you guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today I have, it's a little bit different, I'm behind the camera this time, so I apologize. I just have a lot going on and um, I have a couple of videos I'm hoping to post or at least create tomorrow where I'll be in front of the camera. But uh, this is my empties, empty products, non-wax empty products that I've used up, but only for two months. Normally I do these every three months, like kind of like the winter, the fall, I guess fall, winter, spring, summer. This would be full on summer, but I am not going to be here for the most part of August and I'm not planning on holding my trash and traveling back to 6,000 kilometers with it, with me. So with that being said, I want to get rid of this so I can recycle it and so on. So uh, I want to share with you guys my just two months worth of empties, which is still a decent amount of product. So we're gonna go, first off, we're gonna go through this. This is a fabric softener from Down Downy, and this is the Ultra Downy Infusions Sweet Dreams. I love using, I use this particular fabric softener for my bed sheets as well as my towels. I don't suggest using this with any of your athletic gear. In fact, I would wash your athletic gear in like, um, if you do choose to use it in your washing machine, I would wash it on a gentle cycle and then lay flat or hang to dry. Um, because what this does, you know, obviously it makes things fluffy, but you don't want your active wear to stretch out like super fast. And that tends to what, what can happen if you use fabric softener up with your athletic gear. So I apologize for the noise because I'm reaching in the bin that I have here and just grabbing things. So I have Febreze Fabric Extra Strength uh, Fabric um, Spray, which I love using in my car. This particular one is just more like your basic extra strength smell and I like using it in the car. It's just, it says original scent and yeah, it's great. I love it. Um, I look, Sometimes I'll use this one for my, my couch with Willow, although I do put a blanket down for Willow. I have Herbal Essences Long-Term Relationship Shampoo for long hair. I've enjoyed this one. I don't know if I'll repurchase it. It was okay. Um, I have to, actually I have to use different shampoo now that I'm really, really red. <laughs> but my fiance was using it and he liked it. I mean, he doesn't really care about shampoo. There's nothing, he's not wowed by anything. So um, he's the one who really finished up this last bit of shampoo. I think about here is when I stopped using it for myself and he started using it. So yeah. He liked it, but again, he's not one to like really care that much about that stuff. Um, all right, so then let's go on to, I use these, love these, and I use this, these are Downy Unstoppables in Wash Scent Booster. Um, I like the pink one, I like the purple lidded one, like this one, I'm sorry, it gets cut off because it's so tall, but this is a pink lidded one, but they also have a purple one. I love that these scent boosters are what I use when I wash my athletic gear because especially when you wear it out in the gym or when you're running or if you're just being working outside hard when you sweat and you move the smell of this keeps coming out and it's better than my other alternative of a stank <laughs> so I really love unstoppables you've seen those as it empties in my in my empties quite often I just repurchased this. This is the Paul Mitchell Strength. Let's see if I can bring it in. This is the Super Strong Liquid Treatment. Strengthens and repairs. Reinforce, or strengthens and repairs. Uh, this is like a leave-in spray. I put it in my hair. Um, I get out of the shower, put my hair in a turbo twisty, thanks to Ramona. And then when it's ready, when I take my hair out of it, I will spray this down before I um, like wet brush my hair out. And it's just nice, it just helps. I have really fine hair, I have very tangly hair. So it's just kind of nice to, to help to help the process out. So I have actually repurchased that. Crest 3D White Luxe Glamorous White Alcohol Free Mouthwash. I really enjoy this. I just don't normally use mouthwash, but I enjoyed it. And if I were in the market to purchase it again in the future, I would. Okay, oh, this is from Bath and Body Works. Snowy morning, thank you to my friend Brita, she gave this to me. It's fine fragrance, fra fine fragrance mist. Now I use the fine fragrance mist to spray my, my linens down. So even though I've used the downy, I've used a nice scented a liquid like detergent, I also, before I make the bed, 
you know, on the pillows and on the bed itself, I always like to use a spray. And I've used this and I really enjoy it. It does not stain your fabric, at least this did not, and none of them I've ever used have done that. Really enjoy this, I just love freshening it up. And that's how I use this, because I don't really use them on my body, but I do use it on my bed sheets and I really enjoy that. So, um, although I can't repurchase Snowy Morning, maybe it might come out for winter 2019, I don't know. Uh, but I really enjoy it. and. Thank you to my friend Brita for giving, gifting that to me. Let's see. I'm just trying to pull out as much as I can of one item, like one type of item before. I... Oh, okay. We'll do another. There's a another conditioner here that I used up. This is the Maui Moisture. Now, if you remember, I got the Maui Moisture shampoo and conditioner. The shampoo is still in the, in the shower, which Nelson is using right now. Again, he doesn't care um the conditioner i used um i wasn't that impressed with the whole line of maui moisture i didn't feel like it did anything to my hair it, it honestly i would not repurchase this plus being that it's a square bottle i actually found it towards the end i would always of course tip it upside down in my shower to let everything fall but once it gets to a certain point it's really hard to squeeze out when it's around here and i know i'm near the end but i like to use up my products and it was also very difficult. So I, I don't really, the claims that it has for chemically damaged hair, blah, blah, blah. It really did nothing. It did not shine at all. It was not a product that I was that excited about. I did finish up a nail polish remover from Kit. I was almost done this anyway, and then I went to go use it, and I was probably sitting in my closet for since last summer, and I think it dried up. I only think there was maybe the tiniest bit left and so i think over a year it kind of evaporated so um yeah nail polish remover for my toes because i i get my nails done gel nails on my fingers all right let's see here i went through a french lavender and honey uh body scrub i use this particular kind of scrub from bath and body Works on my feet i do love scrubs for my feet and less necessarily on my body and that's just how I am. This was really good. This is one of those chunky sugar scrubs. Really enjoyed it, but it is now done. I really enjoyed it. The best way to get them is at SAS um, two times a year. So either in the summer, which we just finished having one, or starting Boxing Day, which is December 26. So I have Neutrogena Fresh Foaming Cleanser. Love this one. I had it in my shower. This is just a great, simple, I just find Neutrogena for me anyway. I don't I don't have sensitive skin. I don't, I have like um, normal to oily skin. I don't have, I'm not prone to breakouts, blackheads or anything like that really. So I'm very, very fortunate. So for me, this is just a great, when in doubt at the store, pick this up when I don't have other stuff. But I have been collecting, if you will, vitamin C, S-E-A, the brand is called vitamin C that I've been collecting from winners. So I have lots of face washes from them that I'll be working on and I'm sure you'll see in upcoming empties. All right, so now we're gonna talk soaps from Bath & Body Works. I love their soaps. I love, I'm a foaming hand soap person from Bath & Body Works. So um, loved Margarita Time, enjoyed that. I was just using this to get, I just want, I only have a couple left in my collection that I'm not even opening until I move. But um, yeah, it's a little bit out of season pumpkin apple, but it was lovely. Margarita Time was fantastic. It smelled just like the drink. And Cabana Breeze, loved it, enjoyed it. Very tropical, would absolutely repurchase all. I would repurchase all of these in the future if I was in the market to do so. Um, wow, I have so much stuff in here. <laughs> oh boy. Um, I'm just trying to like organize it a little bit for everybody here and for myself, I guess. Um, hmm. I actually went through some makeup, I will say. We'll get through the makeup soon. I went through this Avino Positively Radiant Daily Moisturizer with SPF 15. I This is a this has been a repurchase. I don't have it in my uh, lineup right now because I'm working on something else because it's summer and I have SPF 60 on my face, actually, when I go out in the summer. But I like this one for the winter. Love this lotion. I have nothing horrible to say at all. Avino is great and I find that I get a lot of the product out with this pump. So um, I feel like it does get a lot of that product out even towards the bottom. All right, Bath & Body Works cocktail dress, crystal peonies. Eh, no, this took forever for me to use. 
the scent wasn't I had the shower gel the lotion and the spray and I just felt it just took forever to get through the lotion even though there's like little bits left here I was like I'm so tapping out like I'm so done with it so yeah I probably wouldn't do that again I wouldn't put, um actually sorry my friend Brita did give that gift that to me that was really really nice of her but um it's definitely not something I would definitely go out and buy um all right so we have I went through a snow fairy shower gel this is only comes out at Christmas time or holiday season generally around Halloween and on until it's sold out after Christmas from Lush never used to love this I absolutely adore this now it's sweet goodness like candy your teeth are gonna fall out of your mouth like love it um, it says invite a little magic into your shower with a candy scented sparkler mm, it was so good yeah I did have a little bit of sparkles in it but I don't really care it doesn't really show on my skin like I wouldn't say that it did but I went through a physician's formula rosé all day. A brightens and tightens oil-free serum. Love this stuff. It's always in my rotation. What's really annoying though, I am so close to writing or they have an Instagram that I'm following to say, can you please fix your packaging? Because all it is when I go into at least a Canadian Walmart or anywhere it's sold here in Canada, all they do is put a stick of tape on each side. And people crack them open and they are just like sick pigs and it's just disgusting. I don't want to put serum on my face where someone's cracked it open. And you can tell because if it's been cracked open, there's stuff being, you know, up along up here. Sorry, you're going to hear a Harley because my neighbor is out going to go drive his ride is Harley. So anyway, I love this, but I wish they would fix the packaging. Like really shrink wrap the heck out of the top. Make it less accessible for people to just put their dirty paws and stick their hands in it because it's really hard to find like I'm finding like even when I do go to a store that sells it they might have one of these on the shelf and then that one has been busted open and I refuse to buy it so it, sometimes I don't even buy it when I need it like I need it but you know what I mean because it's been broken into ugh all right lush Chris tingle body conditioner this is beautiful I use and have saved this this came out Christmas time and I, like I said before, I save all my Chris Tingles for the summertime because it's peppermint and it's very invigorating. It cools you off. It's possibly slightly psychological, but it does a great job. Body conditioners, Lush is the first to do it, in my knowledge. Neutrogena and them were after. But what you do is stand away from, you're in the shower, stand away from the water. Put this on like you would put lotion on your body. And um, stand away from the water for like a minute or two. And then go under the, under the shower and wash it away. And you're fully moisturized. But I use this as shaving lotion. So that's what I love it. And I love how my legs feel cool when I've used it. And like wiped it all over my legs. And then I go in and I shave my legs. And actually it's very moisturizing as well because as you're shaving like it takes time to shave your legs so it's obviously sinking in as well so really enjoyed this peppermint only comes out at Christmas I'm not sure if it's part of the lineup for 2019 but I hope it is because it is fantastic nope sorry guys I'm bumping you around and then we have a lotion a body lotion this is just a regular lotion but it's sleepy and i love using this for travel um putting it on my decollete and upwards around my face uh for before bed obviously hence the name sleepy it is fantastic it's got great lavender luxurious rich lavender and tonka which is a vanilla lotion to soothe your skin and mind love this and the thing is also too with lush i've said this before bring back five black or clear pots where the jellies come in cleaned to your local lush and you will get a free face mask so you just need five of them to get a free face mask i think i have enough empty pots now for like i don't know like probably five free face masks at this point all right moving on loved this was so good black this is from the bathing garden she does great uh, i love her wax but also she has a great lineup of bath products and blackberry jam and lemon curd this was so good it smelled perfect balance of blackberry and like lemonade oh it's so good and i use these again as i mentioned before i use scrubs to scrub my feet really really love that one and if again it were to come out and i was in the purchasing mood i would definitely buy that in the future 
I'm just trying to sort out some of the things here, guys. All right, I went through two. <laughs> Uh, went through two packages of these. You can see one's the old, one's a little newer. The Alme Makeup Eraser 6. I go through one of these, obviously, about a month because it's, this is like a two-month-long empties. But really enjoy these. 100% would repurchase. But I refuse to buy them when they're full price. Here in Canada, they're almost $7. There's only 24 of these. So, yeah, that does last me like a month. But they're expensive. But I don't buy them when they're full price. So I have none right now in my... Um, my stash because every time I go to Walmart or wherever it's still like almost seven dollars for me to buy it I'm like no nope, I can wait you know like, like I just behave a little bit so I try to behave all right so now let's do some oh I've got these two these were both these are from Ramona they were both in the their wallflower bulbs in fresh cut lilacs um, which normally wouldn't be my thing, but they were really, really nice. They are the flat bottom ones, so you can stand them up like so, which is really nice. The And I always take them out. I try, I shouldn't say always. Sometimes they suck up so fast, but I try to take them out when there's this much liquid still remaining because um, it's a plug-in and I don't want to cause a fire. They can be high fire hazards. There has been, obviously, anything can. I mean, you don't want to set a panic to anybody, but I like leaving it a little bit because if it's running dry, it's just sucking up energy um, and it's dry and it could catch fire. So just keep an eye on your wall, your wallflower bulbs just to make sure that they're not running dry because I would hate, I, I would hate to hear of anything happening to any one of you. So I have two of my favorite type of toothpaste. This is Crest 3D White. Um, I don't really care about the flavor. There's only a couple different flavors, but this is my favorite toothpaste. I went through two of these pretty much one a month, um, clearly. I went through a, I'm almost done another one, but I'm thinking about bringing it with me on my trip for the few nights I'm, we are going out to like Vegas and things like that, because um, I'll probably be exhausted. <laughs> Just want to remove my makeup this way. Um, without having to wash my face at like three in the morning, I'm sure. Anyway, this is the Neutrogena All-in-One Makeup Removing Cleansing Wipes. Love these, have been repurchases. I enjoy these immensely and I would continue to repurchase these in the future. Love it. Let's go on to some masks now. Went through a couple different masks. Um, I love going into Winners to find different masks that they have available and they're so cheap and you can buy like 10 of them for $6 or something. So I got, I think there was even more than 10 in this one. I think we made it like 15 pack. This is nice, but I thought I read somewhere on the box on the outside that it was supposed to smell like a bit like candy. It didn't smell like anything. It, it just was a nice mask on your face. It didn't smell like candy, which I was kind of hoping it would, but it did not. I like this, but I have lots of them, um, so I don't need to repurchase. But something I always, when I go to Sephora, I like to try to buy are their masks. I really enjoy their face masks. The coconut one was no exception. Really enjoy this. It's considered nourishing and soothing. Really, really enjoyed it. And um, but my favorite is the pearl. That's my absolute all-time favorite. Sometimes they have sales. Sometimes also too. Oops, sorry. It's not often I go into a Sephora, but sometimes they have like you buy so much money's worth of product at Sephora and you get like a free face mask. It's like weird. Um, anyway, this is like one of those sample sizes, miniature sample sizes of Elizabeth and James Nirvana, Nirvana bourbon. They don't sell it at at um, Sephora anymore. And this is my all time favorite scent for the fall and the winter, especially. Uh, I know I can find it other places, but until I move, I'm not looking to buy it. But I was like, oh my gosh, I need to use this travel size. So I finally used it up because I think I've had that. That is how I knew I love the scent. And I think I've had that travel size for like two years. <laughs> so something that Nelson and I both use, we both like Olay Regenerist. And um, again, I've said this in one of my previous videos, they're Olay, sorry, starting October, 2019. They're gonna have pods. So this basically they're gonna, you're gonna have like you can keep the outside packaging uh, and then th there'll be little pods that are basically this white thing that you would pop inside and reuse because the beauty industry is very, very bad for um, waste. So they're trying to help that process along. So kind of like your, maybe your coffee pods, 
that's what it's going to look like when it comes to oil Olay, they said coming uh october 2019 so coming up and then another product from Olay, which i just got at winners so i don't know if they sell this anymore or what they do but it's Olay regenerists i'm trying to get it focused um it says three point age defying cream it's an eye cream um it was nice i wouldn't say it was anything spectacular nothing to write home about like nothing mind-blowing one of my favorite ones is eye creams are like so expensive and there's obviously a reason for it but whatever let's keep on going with fragrance let's go we got this is what i got in my my advent calendar from super tarts this is black lingonberry cream this is beautiful not long lasting but i loved putting it on just a spritz and i you know I, it wasn't long lasting i'd say it only lasted on me a couple hours and then i'd have to like spray it again but really enjoyed it and it was nice i really like the her advent calendar again i'm looking forward to being able to purchase the advent calendar down the road which i think is september but you've got to follow her webs or her facebook page so this is the maybelline instant age rewind eraser dark circles treatment in the color light so i use light and i use brightener and the brightener i'm almost out of and i can't seem to find anywhere i swear to god maybelline is like not, not producing my favorite one and it was just i love the brightener because down the center of my face but anyway ramona's hooking me up the girl is awesome anyway love these repurchase this is the only concealer i use i that's it i don't but i'm fortunate enough not to need a thick concealer and i know that and again i'm blessed i've been very blessed with my skin so um i'm very thankful for that so and this is another empty fragrance you can see i was just trying to use up stuff that was almost gone um so i didn't want to move with stuff that was half gone this is a la vanilla it's all wiped off but this is a la vanilla fragrance from sephora in a roller ball in a scent just like the vanilla and my favorite scent was the vanilla coconut which they don't seem to be selling at all and in fact it kind of looks like the whole line on sephora is kind of leaving it doesn't seem like they're really holding any of this in stock I enjoyed this. It took me a while. The rollerball, I will say with this, because you actually have to put it on your skin over time, you can sort of see like it looks a little funny in there. <laughs> but it still smelled great. So I enjoyed it. I found a new fragrance that um, that I love that I will talk about. You'll see in an upcoming video. But um, I like that. But I really, really love the La Vanilla, Co Vanilla Coconut. But they don't make it anymore. All right. A lip gloss, lip balm, lip oil, whatever you want to say. This is a Clarins Instant Light Lip Comfort Oil. This is great. I can't get any more out. Like even if I if I go wait for it to go to the side and try to scrape the edges, I'm pretty much done. So I've enjoyed this. I left this by my like TV. Hi, by my TV room. I, this is what I would just put when I wanted a little something on my lips. It doesn't. It gives a little bit of red, but nothing major. Like nothing. It's not like a red lipstick or anything. All right, another lip gloss went through super, was it super, supernatural by Revlon. Love this one. It is one of my favorites. Completely dry. I literally scraped the sides every time and there was like nothing. I wasn't going to do this anymore. Like quite literally, I've used it all up. So I love these glosses. Revlon makes some great glosses. So definitely if you're in the, in the drugstore, grocery store, whatever, give them a look. Um, you don't have to spend a lot of money. That's what I'm saying. And another love of mine, which is a Remmel lipstick. This is number 45 in, oh, sorry, guys, focusing. Number 45 in the Kate line. And this is just a great, cool tone nude. And I've loved this for, for so long. It's been one of my favorites, but it she's a done. I'm not, uh, every time I was putting it on my lips, I was rubbing it off because of the rim or on the outside. I was like, oh, that's no point. I uh, went through a Gimme Brow. From Benefit, um, I'm using a powder right now, and I would like to get some more of this, but they have new colors. This was a three, but I think I'd be a 3.5 now with my auburn hair. Oh, once and one, oh, one other thing. I, Nelson's about to, to come in in just one moment, but um, I've got a lip liner, and the color is in natural. That's been great. Um, and it's been awesome and it's pretty much toast like wasn't it wasn't turning in the sharpener at all so anyway long story short i dethroned that one and another nyx product which i've repurchased many times and i actually had to go to the website but glad i did my friend told me to go to the website for nyx to find my favorite taupe blush 
which I use for contour because on the NYX site, it was like $5.60 a piece where one of these, even on sale at one of the stores I go to, would likely sell me around $11, $12. So I'm glad I bought five of them online at the website. There you go. All right, you guys, this is my last um, empties, if you will, non-wax empties in this location as well. So there you have it. That's two months worth of different type of empties, non-wax. All right, guys, as always, be safe, take care, and have fun. Bye, guys.